Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bal Fatih. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received today in the presence of the Chief of Public Security Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, the outgoing Ambassador of the United States to Bahrain, Justin Sibiral. The Minister welcomed the Ambassador, expressing appreciation for his efforts and role in bolstering friendly bilateral relations, particularly in the field of security. During the meeting, the existing bilateral relations were reviewed and subjects of mutual interest interests were discussed. Following the meeting, the minister and ambassador signed an agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States, bolstering bilateral cooperation in detecting explosives and similar substances as part of training programs to combat terrorism. The ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to the interior minister, praising the cooperation and coordination of the ministry to strengthen relations and joint action between the two countries. He wished the Kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. The the minister presented the ambassador with a commemorative gift in appreciation of his efforts. As part of the efforts of the Southern Governorate to combat COVID-19 and to promote awareness and precautionary measures in cooperation with the security services, the Southern Governor, Hassan Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, extended a sterilization and disinfection campaign in Rafah in the presence of a number of officers in partnership and cooperation with the General Directorate of Civil Defense and a number of volunteers. Hassan Sheikh Khalifa affirmed that the Governorate continues to hold a number of sterilization campaigns in various regions of the governorate in implementation of the directives of the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to highlight the security partnership with various security agencies and bodies. His Highness commended the efforts of policemen in enhancing safety requirements through joint cooperation in various security programs and initiatives in the governorate that aim to activate the principle of community partnership. The governor hailed the efforts of the General Directorate of Civil Defense and volunteers affirming his support for large-scale sterilization campaigns in the governorate. Bilateral consultations were held remotely between Bahrain's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Turkmenistan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Bahraini side was chaired by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, with the participation of the President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, and Chairman of the Follow Up Committee on the Implementation of Bilateral Agreements and MOUs between the governments of Bahrain and Turkmenistan, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Ambassador of Bahrain to Turkey, Dr. Ibrahim Yusuf Al Abdullah, as well as the First Secretary for Afro Asian Countries Affairs, Ahmed Mohammed Al Tarifi. The Turkmen side was chaired by the Turkmen Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Rashid Meridov, with the participation of the Deputy Foreign Minister, Berdinyaz Mayetiv, the head of the Department of Middle East and African Countries, Maritajan Yelyasov, as well as the President of the International Economic Cooperation. Administration at the Foreign Affairs Ministry, Miksat Shariev. Dr. Zayani welcomed the Turkmen counterpart and the accompanying delegation, expressing the Kingdom's keenness on bolstering bilateral relations. He noted the results of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to Turkmenistan in March 2019, as well as the discussions His Majesty held with the Turkmen President, Gorbanguli Bermehadov, which bolstered the two countries' friendly relations. Dr. Zayani affirmed that the meetings will further develop these relations in all fields, particularly trade, investment, tourism, culture, health and combating the coronavirus. He also underlined the Kingdom's keenness on further developing bilateral relations. For his part, the Turkmen minister expressed appreciation to the relations between Bahrain and his country, hailing the developments they witnessed in all fields. He affirmed his country's keenness to activate the joint cooperation program between the two friendly countries in all fields. They discussed the course of bilateral relations and the efforts made to enhance bilateral cooperation in many political, economic, commercial and social fields and ways to activate the agreements signed between the two friendly countries. The two sides stress the importance of continuing the efforts, joint coordination and exchange of visits between the two countries at various levels to enhance joint cooperation in various fields. The two sides also stress the importance of preserving the security and stability of the region, joining efforts to stop the 
the ongoing wars confront terrorist organizations on striving to bring peace and stability. They also emphasize the importance of international cooperation to combat the coronavirus and to address its repercussions. The Ministry of Finance and National Economy published the Kingdom's quarterly economic report for the first quarter of 2020, where the report covered the most important economic data and indicators of the national economy and reviewed the most important global and regional economic changes. The report indicated that the economic performance witnessed growth at the beginning of the year before being affected in March by COVID-19, affecting the overall performance of the economy and causing a decline in the rates of GDP growth for Bahrain. The report also indicated the growth of the oil sector while the non-oil sector was affected by the repercussions of the virus. The hotel sector was affected due to global restrictions imposed on travel, followed by the transportation and communication sector, the government services sector and the decline of financial project sector, real estate activities, business services and the trade sector. The financial and insurance sector contributed to 16.7% in the non-oil sector and the oil sector contributed 7 the report showed the success of the development projects, such as the airport expansion project, that cost $1 billion and $100 million, in addition to the Hawar Island project. The report also highlighted the competitiveness of the kingdom, in which Bahrain now places 56 on the international level out of 180 countries and the first on the environment services system indicators. Bahrain also placed the eighth in the human capital category and 63rd on the international level in the economic growth and development category. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,545 4, with 529 recoveries, 454 registered new cases and one death. The Ministry of Health expressed its sincere condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions as well as avoiding public places when possible.